property owners have become accustomed to relying on market rents in their respective areas to determine potential cell tower rents when leasing land to cell tower companies. This practice can cost a property owner hundreds of thousands of dollars over the life of a cell tower lease. Now many assume cell towers are real estate assets, however, cell tower companies assess them as telecom assets, and so should all property owners leasing their land for telecom placement. These companies willingly divulge market cell tower rents in a property owner's area because it's beneficial for them when you are only relying on those numbers. Know that every cell tower has different value, and that you should base potential cell tower rent on the telecom's need for your land not on rents being paid around you. Remember, the telecom companies have experts working for them, shouldn't you?